want to thank everybody for watching crypto revolution we talk about everything crypto almost daily jumping right into the market today in crypto bitcoin one hour chart very key so all of a sudden late in the evening my alerts are going crazy the alarms go off everywhere in the house dude it was it's just like how do you do this bulls like i just want to yell at the screen sometime like how do you how do you have this massive move higher and then bullishly retest it put in a higher high and then completely lose this level how do you do that that is weak that is weak like bulls this the strong move the insta moon move is bulls hold this level and close the daily above this chart all right so that would be the best case scenario now it's like okay what's the second best case what's possible what can happen what would do don't we want to see happen we're going to talk about that and so again we completely nailed this double bottom support you know we said if the stock market was strong and we talked exactly about the stock market is the stock market is strong this thing can bounce early and it did and it did look what happened now stocks completely like the mcdonald's sign printed the golden arches the red and green arches double topped and it just rolled over completely this is the es1 we'll talk about this more in just a minute bitcoin this is the eight hour chart bitcoin this huge epic bullish push higher and then you lose this level you lose you lost this level now the bulls all the bulls have to do to start winning again is regain this level and bullishly retest it so what happens here is this is a game it's player versus player this is everybody's program to buy when this major level is broken right first you're programmed to buy on the breakout of this pattern a lot of people buy i prefer buying double bottoms with bullish divergence inside a falling wedge best entry right because if it breaks to the downside okay you get stopped out no big deal but you don't miss this entire move right you start buying here you already miss half the move potentially you buy here you, you just you just got freaking bull trapped right and so there's a smart way to play the game and you just have to be smarter or better than some of the traders in this market and that's all there is to it this is the bitcoin daily chart we talked about this being this this was a previous double top and broke to the downside right higher highs and higher lows so uptrend 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 right and then breaks to the downside you're in a downtrend in this falling wedge 68 percent chance breaks to the upside right we, it's exactly what we talked about now had the whole day price action is freaking mooning up here a whole day price actions up above here above this level right well then at the end of the day right at the end of the day before the daily candle close the bears started completely crushing the price of bitcoin so then you lose this level so you lost this key daily support this was support now it's the ceiling so if this stays respected here's what you have to watch out for be careful if this gets rejected here and you see further downside right i mean it's really that simple now you just want to hold this low the most important thing is because you, you got your high this is your low this is a higher high so as long as your next low isn't lower than this low so you do not want to move down below twenty one thousand five hundred. if so then you're going a lot lower right if the bulls can open if, if they can hold this level and bounce right right around I mean, if they can really, if they can hold like 21,800, then that'll be your higher low. And then you're looking for a higher high run up here to 26,000, 27,000, right? But you need a higher low. So, I mean, price action moves in waves. This does not move, it doesn't move in straight lines. Remember, price action moves in waves. Impulsive wave, corrective wave. Impulsive wave, corrective wave. Impulsive wave, right? And then on an uptrend, the impulsive waves, are longer than the corrective waves on a downtrend then your corrective waves are longer than the impulsive waves so impulsive corrective impulsive corrective right and so you have to understand the basic idea in general this is so simple when i teach you 
how to trade this market, you will make so much money. Trade, you'll be in the right coins. You'll be trading based on the ideas that I talk about. It's not that difficult. I've got some amazing shout outs to give in my trading group. This person, I told you I'd keep you updated with him. He started with $50. He finally reached $5,000. He's up 100X in about three and a half, almost about three and a half weeks. Now he's looking for $10,000. I mean, just, just think about your life, 50 bucks to $5,000, 100X. This person on a SHIB trade made $14,000 trading SHIB. The reason why we're hitting all these bangers is to have all the best setups, including myself, like constantly we're working. So it's right now for one week, we're lowering the prices, rock bottom fees to join the group, $200 off, lowest price ever, plus 60% off the... Go over to my website, cryptorev.net. Join. If you have any questions about joining, send me an email, cryptobitcoinchris at gmail.com. It's important to know and understand Sometimes, and I want you to key in on this post from earlier today, from 11.32 a.m., right? So over eight hours ago, nine hours ago. Funding rates are negative. These are red. This means Bitcoin is also, Bitcoin is also overbought and red negative funding rates. So most traders, based on these two ideas, are expecting a pullback, at least in the short term. What happened? Ran up 25,000 earlier today, and then all the way down to 23,400. Obviously small bounce now, but you get, the, you get the idea. Like the point is, like being able to understand the intang intangibles in this market changed the game completely. I mean, I've got kids in the group up, you know, 2,100%. This is the ES1 E-mini futures, right? And the bulls got completely destroyed i mean you just you, how you, you happen here happen here it's just like you get so frustrated at this chart sometimes but right at the last second market sell off market sell off market sell off and this drags bitcoin lower right so the most important idea is to understand that the bitcoin pivots bitcoin pivots you see in the orange line up here see the orange line that's Bitcoin. What, what happened exactly, exactly at the same time? Whole stock market sells off and not even, I mean, it wasn't even massive sell off, but it was a sell off. And this is after hours futures. And that's why we're paying attention to e mini futures because it's open right now, right? But you have the market selling off traditional stocks and clearly Bitcoin pullback because of it. KuCoin, banger central, it's simple to make. Double digit gainers when half the market on KuCoin is double digit green. Right? It's real easy. True up 108%, 69%, 47, 42, 35, 35, 31, 23. It's LA. I posted it two weeks ago. Well, 16 days ago, right? We bought it right here. This person doubles up. Uh, thanks for the double up on DSLA. I get 100% gain. This today, I talked about high moonbirds. And I mean, you've got a perfect pattern and you're looking for a strong move, it's got no other place to go but break to the upside. Exactly what happened, high birds hit 33, almost 34% gains after the breakout. Before DSLA had another 100% gain, it had a 27% pullback. Bottom line is, if you cannot handle a 30% pullback, you'll never get 3,000% gains, period. That's the way this market works. You're always going to get these massive sell-offs and then wicked moves to the upside. Also vice versa. If you guys like the content that I provide on a daily basis, be sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video, leave a comment in the comment box. Thanks so much. I'll see you guys tomorrow.